Hey everyone, Ariel Adams of the blog to watch and today I'm going to review the Casio Oceanus Manta OCWS 6000 that I'm wearing right now. The Casio Oceanus is an interesting watch collection that until recently hasn't really been sold outside of Japan. It's been one of those JDM models, Japanese domestic model, that you may have seen in catalogs or online or going to stores in Japan, but you just never saw it anywhere else. And it's Casio's highest end collection um, that isn't G-Shock. And it's, it, for a long time, it was their highest end collection. And then the G-Shock range went up and there's sort of a lot of combining of things like that. But what you see here is, I don't necessarily want to call it a dress watch, even though it is that. It's an office watch, it's a formal watch, it's a dress watch. It's basically Casio's non-G-Shock that tries to do as much as possible like a G-Shock in a thinner, um, more elegant package. And it's very, very cool. Now Oceanus has finally come to America and there's been a couple of versions of the Oceanus Manta. And the original version version that came to the United States was the OCWS 5000, the predecessor to the 6000. And this is the first version. This is the OCWS 6000-1A. And what we have here is a really fantastic watch that builds a lot upon the 5000. They share the same movement, but it's a different case, very different wearing style. And I want to talk about the feature of this watch that I'm most excited about, and that is the bezel. What you see here is a sapphire crystal bezel, a facet cut one that has been treated with special color coding applications on the bottom side. So you have the transparency of the sapphire crystal, of course the scratch resistance, but it's got this wonderful blue color which emits from the bottom of it and it has a really, really lovely look to it. The geometric design of the bezel is very trendy, um, sort of very Gerald Genta-esque, of course doesn't really look like anything specific, but the angularity on this watch offers a lovely masculinity that combines well with the elegance of a dress watch to make something that is very, very masculine, but also has an elegance to it, like I said, that um, extends far beyond where any G-Shock would go, because it's not a G-Shock, it's Oceanus. The case is made out of titanium, it's treated titanium, it's very lightweight, the entire watch weighs only 86 grams, and so when you, you hold it in your hand, um, you, you definitely feel a lot more of a, of a lightweight experience than the, the, the case size would suggest. Um, speaking of case size, uh, it actually wears uh, a little bit on the small side, which I like. It is 42 and a half millimeters wide, and that counts pretty much everything. Casio does what I call true to size dimensions. And a lot of watch brands, they'll say, that's 40 millimeters wide, it looks bigger because they're measuring just the inner case or something like that. This really is 42 and a half millimeters wide, so it actually wears smaller because other brands would call this maybe a 40 millimeter wide watch or something like that. Just 8.7 millimeters thick, that is almost a full millimeter thinner than the previous generation watch. That is one of the uh, real benefits over the 5000 series of the Manta versus the 6000. And another interesting change is a more traditional style lug structure. The 5000 had this sort of integrated bracelet uh, that was not able to be separated and replaced with a strap. Here you have a more traditional lug structure. So if you remove the bracelet, if you wanted to do that, you could put um, a different kind of strap on there. The titanium bracelet has a matching deployment and it has a little comfort adjust. So if you see right here, I'm just sort of opening and closing this little thing. It's a few millimeters, very similar to how Rolex has on maybe the GMT Master II or something like that. Just one of the nice little features you have there. What about the movement? Now this is an interesting movement. It is one of their tough solar movements. So it receives light to charge the battery. It connects to the uh, atomic clock radio signals um, if you're in part of the world that receives that. It's also a Bluetooth movement and that's really what the kicker is for me. It connects to the Casio app. And at a very basic level, if you're traveling around, the time will be automatically updated on the dial. You can also use the app to adjust things like the world time and the various types of other features in there to make sure that you can adjust it, which is a little bit fiddly to do with the crown and, and, and the two pushers. Honestly, it's a lot better to do it through the app. The dial is really fantastic, clear, legible, good loom, blue loom, which is nice. And you have a two time zone dial. Each of the time zones has an independent AM PM indicator. So there's basically a, a 12 hour one here. There's a very small one right here. And that's very handy so that you know which time zone you're talking about. You also have a date and a day of the week indicator um, that also doubles as a, as a function indicator. One of the cool things about this watch is if you want it to go into chrono, chronograph mode, all you do is push the upper pusher here and you can see um, that the hands realign. So what was the seconds hand 
is now the chronograph hand, um, and it's tracking, uh, you know, it's tracking elapsed time, which is kind of cool uh, the way they do it. So again, not a brand new movement, but a really nice, elegant execution of it. And again, super thin. Um, really like this this watch. This is again the Casio Oceanus Manta OCWS 6001A, uh, brand new outside of Japan uh, as a collection, and the 6000 um, is a brand new watch, and you can see more about it on a blog to watch. Retail price is $2,400. Thanks.